Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. The previous video we got the successfully we got the post ID in the child component. So that means when we are trying to click here, we are able to get the post ID here. So here we are winning. Here we are using. Okay, fine. Okay, we are able to get the post ID. So now what we need to do using that post ID, we need to call the API and URL what we have discussed in the previous video. So I need to call this API URL and get the complete post details okay so what can i do here let's try to do it so when i need to get this post details here so now here if you try to see here we are showing the post it post right so now when i click on this one we are we are showing the single post details component so now when i need to call this axios as we have already guessed that is nothing but the component did mount so when this component is mounted after mounted i need to call the axios i will show you so the drawback of your calling here in the component did mount i will show you bug here here first we'll call it in the component did mount okay so the as we already know that when we click here the component will be mounted so after mounted we need to call the axios and we need to get the post details so try to let's call it here axios dot get okay so here i will be trying to do here. okay now here i can call this one and i need to make this one as a dynamic here I will be calling this dot state dot id id right what that that is the name I have uh, sending as the props okay fine so now we got the this dot state dot id and this one will return a promise then response and you will be getting a response and here we will be having the console dot log response dot data so this is the data we will be getting so let's try to see the output here so if I go here and if I see the refresh this page if I try to check the network, so let's try to see whether we are calling or not. If I click here, what it is happening? Axios. Okay, okay. The Axios is not different or what? Component it mount. It's perfect only. What is selling? Try to say. Try to refresh it again. Okay, I am clicking here. It mount. Not read property id of null oh sorry we are using this dot state we need to this dot prop state id right okay fine now if i try to refresh it now if i try to pay, click on this one again see here down we are calling the url so we are calling that api and url and we are getting the data so now what i will try to do is i will try to create a state here okay now what i can do here this dot state this dot state is equal to I'll be having the post. I am keeping it as a null for the first time. So here what I can do is this dot set state of what I can do here post response dot data. Okay. Now in the post in, in the state in the post we are having this response dot data. And if you try to see here in the response we are not getting the ID. If you try to see here the response we are not getting the ID. So now what we will try to do is we will try to append the id as we have already in the props that id and i will do something like this dot props dot id okay so now we got the complete post details so here what i can do directly i can use something like this dot state state dot post dot id okay and here what i can do this dot state dot post dot title okay so now here what i can do this dot state dot post dot description okay so here we are able to show the post details now let's see whether we will get output or not so here if i try to see if i click on the output here in the console so now let's try to see here if i am clicking here i am getting an error so that is telling that cannot read property id of null so that means what it is saying here so it is telling that i cannot find the id of null yeah it's correct why because at the first time initialize the state the post is null so we are calling the axios to get the details of the post details so by that time it will be rendered so then it will be having id of id of type null only why because so it will take some time to get the post details by the time the, the uh, html is rendering so that is the reason it is telling that id of null so what we need to do we need to add a condition in such a way that when we get the post details only render this one so what i can do here i can wrap it in one div okay whatever the thing you want you can make it 
what I will try to do is here this is one div and here I, I will write a condition in such a way that this dot or state dot post details if the post details is there okay now show this so this condition okay so this is how so if you want you can keep for the complete html also you can keep it so now i am writing that if the post is there only then only render this html now if i try to see the output let me remove this one all so now if i refresh this one now if i click here okay see I am able to get the output. So it will take some time, but I am able to get the output. Okay. So if I try to see it here again, so now what is happening? So if I click it here, yeah, it took some time and we got the data. Fine. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Now the problem here, what it is happening is now I got the details of this first one. So I when I am clicking on the second post, I am not able to get the details. Why? Why? What is the problem here? If you try to see also, if I try to click here also, I am not able. Uh, it is not calling the post details to of that particular id so what is happening here is so here we are using component head mount so this one will be executed only once when the component is mounted here the component is already mounted and you are clicking on this one so here it will be not, this life cycle hook will not be called so then what is the correct time correct thing you need to use here so we need to use the component did update so when the component did update component did update will fire whenever the state or the props is being changed here when we are clicking on this post means the props uh, the props will be changing why because the id is different for this one so the props will be changing immediately component did update will fire so now what we did, what we can do is so we can copy this entire code and you can write it something like this dot get post details okay so i can write in a such a way that this dot get post details and here i can write get post details is equal to i can write it like this and here i am pasting this entire thing and I will call this one. And here also, what I will try to do, I will try to call get this dot get post details. Okay. So now let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output, so if I try to refresh this one, again one problem rises. So let's try to see. So now if I click here, you see it is going on calling. So it is going on calling. So it is it is going on calling. The request is going on making. So what is happening here is again. So here first time the component did mount will fire okay we got the state and we have updated the state here okay whenever the state is got updated and here we are calling the render again this component did update will call okay so when whenever this component did update will call again we are setting the state and again this component did update will fire, we will call so what is happening here whenever we are updating any state and any props we, we have discussed that component did update will fire so now here what is happening every time when we are calling this component did update or component did mount we are setting the state so when we are setting the state means so it automatically the uh, what we can say this render will uh, render my method will be executing and again when the state is updated again this component did update will fire okay whenever they update so this one is this one is becoming looping so what we can do here we need to write a condition in component did update in a such a way that if we have the state dot post so if, if if we have already the state dot post is there and also if the state dot post dot id is not equal to the props id if it is not equal to the props id only then i need to make this post details why because the prop uh, the other uh, post id is not uh, is not for that one so now what i need to do is here i need to write a condition in such a way that if this dot state sorry if this dot state dot post is there ampersand ampersand and this dot state dot post dot okay id is equal to is equal to this dot props dot id if these both are equal okay state id state post id and props id is equal means so that means so we have already called the details and we got the details so then i can just return this one okay if it is not the case means then call this post details okay so let's try to see the output here so if i click here so first time if i try to see so now if i click on this one we got the post details and it, it has been called so now if i click here see it called with id1 and the data has been changed if i click on again this one so this one will not fire away because the id1 date the id1 props which we are passing is one and the same so here then the component did update it will fail and here if i call here so the state that post data is already there but this condition has been failed so the props id is not equal to post data id so now it will be calling that get post details okay in this way we need we will be using this 
component did update so we need to able to understand this component did mount and also the component did update also so here we have written in a such a way the condition that we are restricting the we are restricting the props thing so to 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 call the ajax call only when the props id is not equal so if you are having here the props id is ma not matching it is making a call okay hope you understood this one so how to use this component did update and component did mount so now in this way we are able to get the single post details okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you